prop hunters let's go and take a, a look at another race result from um the race ratings on saturday i think it's important that you guys understand where the value lies in what i do with uh race ratings you're not going to get every meeting every day of the week there's no point like that's gonna fucking dilute the quality of the content i want to give you two meetings a day in australia the quality legs that will give you good results you've seen that with the twelve thousand dollar first four in rose hill race eight that i've already posted um on youtube let's take a look at another race result um i think it's rose hill race four what i want to concentrate on here is um the value of finding winners at big overs partners all right I think it might be race three. Let's go have a look at race three. As you know, I do most things on the fly. Rose Hill race three, second top rated, the two at $6. What's it paid? Casual connection, Rose Hill race three, number two, has gone off at 19.0 and 4.0. All right, you don't need value overlays in every race when you're betting the ratings the ratings aren't just about backing the top rated runner the one top rated went around at 2.80 unders so obviously the value then lies with the second top rated it's fucking rated 6.0 and they're betting fucking 19.0 about a punters like one plus one equals two Let's fast forward to Rose Hill Race 8 where I gave you the first four that paid $12,000 and the top rated Private Eye, 5.50. What to pay punters? Fucking hell. In fact, I need to remind you. 8.50 versus a top rated price of 5.50. So you've got one top rated winner before we've even dug deeper into the card at Rose Hill, rated 5.50 that's paid 8.50, and the first four out of this race in the top six rated that's paid 12,200, and then rewind to the first race of the quaddy, of the first leg of the, the first quaddy, the early quaddy, second top rated, rated 6.0, has gone off at 19.0, when the one top rated 4.6 has started 2.8 unders. Fucking hell, one plus one equals two punters. Hashtag form analysis 101. Thank you. Love ya.